Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my beloved brothers and sisters in faith. Welcome back to our channel where we uncover the extraordinary lives of Islamic giants who forever changed the course of human knowledge and spiritual understanding. Today, I'm absolutely thrilled to share with you a story so remarkable, so mind-blowing, that it will completely transform how you view the incredible contributions of Islamic civilization to science, mathematics, and our understanding of the very cosmos itself. Before we dive into this incredible journey of discovery, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell, because what you're about to learn will fill you with immense pride in our Islamic heritage and ignite a passion for knowledge that will last a lifetime. Have you ever wondered who laid the foundations for the scientific revolution that would reshape Europe centuries later? Who developed the mathematical tools that made possible the greatest astronomical discoveries in human history? Who created the bridge between ancient wisdom and modern science while remaining deeply rooted in Islamic faith and scholarship? What kind of extraordinary mind could master theology, philosophy, mathematics, astronomy, ethics, and medicine with equal brilliance, contributing groundbreaking insights in each field that would influence scholars for generations to come? Today, I want to tell you about a man whose intellectual achievements were so vast and profound that he became known as the most celebrated scholar of the 13th century in Islamic lands. A polymath, whose contributions to human knowledge rival those of any figure in history. A devout Muslim whose scientific discoveries were driven by his deep faith and his conviction that studying Allah's creation was the highest form of worship. This remarkable man is Nasir al-Din al-Tusi, and his incredible journey from a young student in medieval Persia to becoming the architect of revolutionary scientific institutions represents one of the most inspiring stories of intellectual achievement in Islamic history. A testament to the power of Islamic civilization to nurture and celebrate the pursuit of knowledge in all its forms. Picture this scene with me. It's the year 1201 CE, and in the ancient city of Tus in northeastern Iran, a region that had been the birthplace of countless scholars and poets, a child is born into a wealthy and learned Twelver Shia family, a family deeply committed to Islamic scholarship and the pursuit of divine knowledge. This child, Muhammad ibn Muhammad ibn al-Hasan, who would later be known as Nasir al-Din al-Tusi, grows up in an environment where intellectual curiosity is not just encouraged, but considered a sacred duty, where the study of mathematics, astronomy, and natural philosophy is seen as a pathway to understanding Allah's infinite wisdom and the perfect order of His creation. Despite being born into privilege, Young Nasir al-Din faces the challenge of losing his parents at an early age, an experience that could have derailed his education, but instead strengthens his resolve to pursue knowledge with even greater dedication, finding in his studies a source of comfort and purpose that will define his entire life. His early education in Tus provides him with a solid foundation in Islamic jurisprudence, theology, and philosophy but it quickly becomes apparent that his intellectual appetite extends far beyond conventional religious studies, encompassing mathematics, astronomy, logic, and the natural sciences with an intensity that amazes his teachers and fellow students. When he moves to Nishapur to complete his education, the young Al-Tusi finds himself in one of the great centers of Islamic learning, a city where the traditions of Islamic scholarship merge with the legacy of ancient Greek philosophy and Persian wisdom creating an intellectual environment that perfectly nurtures his multifaceted genius. In Nishapur, Al-Tusi studies under some of the most distinguished scholars of his time, mastering not only the traditional Islamic sciences, but also diving deep into the works of Aristotle, Ptolemy, and Euclid, developing the critical thinking skills and mathematical foundation that will enable him to make revolutionary contributions to multiple fields of knowledge. His reputation as an exceptional scholar spreads rapidly throughout the Islamic world, attracting students who travel great distances to study under his guidance. Drawn by his unique ability to synthesize diverse intellectual traditions into a coherent vision of knowledge that honors both reason and revelation. But Al-Tusi's greatest achievements come when he joins the court of the Mongol Ilkhanate, a decision that might seem controversial but which provides him with the resources and intellectual freedom necessary to establish the most advanced observatory of the medieval world and to assemble a team of brilliant scholars from across the known world. The Maragay Observatory, established under Al-Tusi's direction, becomes a revolutionary institution that transforms astronomy from a theoretical discipline 
into an observational science, equipped with the most sophisticated instruments of its time and staffed by mathematicians, astronomers, and engineers from China, India, Persia, and the Arab world. Here, Altusi develops what becomes known as the Tusi couple, a geometric theorem that solves fundamental problems in planetary motion and provides the mathematical foundation for later astronomical advances, including those that would eventually lead to the Copernican revolution in Europe. His masterpiece, the ZG Ilkhani, or Ilkhanic Tables, becomes the most accurate and comprehensive astronomical work of its time, remaining the standard reference for astronomers across the Islamic world and beyond for centuries. Demonstrating the extraordinary precision and mathematical sophistication of Islamic science, but Al-Tusi's genius extends far beyond astronomy, as he makes groundbreaking contributions to mathematics, essentially creating the field of trigonometry as an independent mathematical discipline, developing the six fundamental formulas for solving spherical right-angled triangles that become the foundation of modern spherical trigonometry. His work in theology and philosophy is equally impressive, as he writes commentaries on Avicenna's works, that clarify and expand upon the great philosopher's insights, while his ethical treatises provide guidance for living a life that balances intellectual pursuit with spiritual devotion. The Tajrid al-Irtiqad, his comprehensive work on Shia theology, becomes a standard text that influences Islamic thought for centuries, demonstrating his ability to apply the same rigorous analytical methods he uses in mathematics and astronomy to questions of faith and religious doctrine. What makes Altusi's achievements even more remarkable is his deep conviction that scientific investigation is not separate from religious devotion, but rather represents the highest form of worship, a means of contemplating Allah's infinite wisdom as revealed in the perfect mathematical harmony of creation. His approach to knowledge is holistic and integrated, viewing astronomy, mathematics, theology, and ethics as different aspects of a single quest to understand the divine order that governs both the heavens and the human heart, a vision that enables him to make connections and insights that elude more specialized scholars. The international character of the Maragay Observatory, where scholars from different cultures and traditions work together in pursuit of scientific truth, reflects Altusi's belief that knowledge belongs to all humanity, and that the pursuit of understanding transcends cultural and religious boundaries while remaining firmly grounded in Islamic values and principles. His students and collaborators include some of the most brilliant minds of their generation, creating a network of scholars who carry his methods and insights to universities and courts across the Islamic world, ensuring that his contributions to human knowledge have lasting impact far beyond his own lifetime. The precision of his astronomical observations and the elegance of his mathematical solutions demonstrate the remarkable level of scientific sophistication achieved by Islamic civilization, challenging modern misconceptions about the Middle Ages and revealing the true extent of Muslim contributions to the development of human knowledge. Dear brothers and sisters, the legacy of Nasir al-Din al-Tusi speaks to us across eight centuries, reminding us that Islam has always been a religion that celebrates and encourages the pursuit of knowledge, that sees scientific investigation as a form of worship that views the study of Allah's creation as a pathway to understanding His infinite wisdom and perfection. In our modern world, where science and religion are often portrayed as antagonistic forces, where Muslim achievements in mathematics, astronomy, and natural philosophy are overlooked or minimized, Altusi's example shows us that the greatest scientific advances often come from those who combine rigorous intellectual discipline with deep spiritual conviction. His life demonstrates that true scholarship requires not only technical expertise, but also moral character, ethical integrity, and a sense of responsibility to use knowledge for the benefit of all humanity, qualities that are deeply rooted in Islamic values and teachings. The courage with which Al-Tusi pursued revolutionary ideas, the dedication with which he trained a new generation of scholars, the generosity with which he shared his discoveries with the entire scientific community, these qualities challenge us to think about our own relationship with knowledge and our responsibility to contribute to human understanding and progress. His example reminds us that Islam is not merely a religion of ritual and law, but a complete way of life that embraces intellectual curiosity, scientific investigation, and the pursuit of truth in all its forms, encouraging every Muslim to develop their God-given talents 
and to use their knowledge in service of their communities and all humanity. The international and collaborative nature of his scientific work, bringing together scholars from diverse backgrounds in pursuit of common goals, offers a model for how Islamic values can create bridges between different cultures and traditions, fostering mutual understanding and shared progress in the pursuit of knowledge. If this incredible story has inspired you, if it has awakened in you a pride in our Islamic heritage and a passion for learning and discovery, if it has reminded you that the pursuit of knowledge is one of the highest forms of worship and service to Allah, please share it with others who need to hear this message of Islamic excellence and intellectual achievement. Subscribe to our channel and join us as we continue to explore the rich tradition of Islamic scholarship. The scientists and thinkers whose discoveries laid the foundations for modern civilization, whose commitment to knowledge and truth continues to inspire seekers of wisdom in every age and culture. May Allah grant us all the intellectual curiosity and dedication that drove Nasir al-Din al-Tusi to his remarkable achievements. May he help us to see the study of his creation as a pathway to understanding his infinite wisdom. May he inspire us to use our knowledge in service of justice and truth, and may he guide us to follow the example of the great scholars who built Islamic civilization through their commitment to learning and discovery. Barakallahu fikum, and I'll see you soon, inshallah. For more inspiring stories from our magnificent Islamic heritage that will awaken your mind and illuminate your path to knowledge and wisdom beyond all measure.